Hey guys, Dark Armor Tutorials here, and I'm gonna start a series today about um multiple uh just tutorials about how to do things MLP related, but not necessarily. You can uh, take the things I teach you to uh, other things. However, this is specifically for the Equestria Daily has requested tutorials, and I just wanted to help out with that. Um, so this is gonna be the start of many tutorials. Uh, uh, hopefully, depending on feedback. Uh, and today I'm going to start out with Photoshop. So what you have to do is you just have to uh, find photo Photoshop and open it. And I'll probably move on to other things such as Illustrator and Flash. Uh, this tutorial, uh, this specific tutorial is um, meant for people who really almost haven't even opened Photoshop. So, if you're a little bit more advanced, you might just want to wait until I continue. Uh, but hopefully for those uh, for those of you who just haven't even opened, welcome aboard. Um, Alright, so, you want to get to drawing ponies. That can't happen until we know about what everything here is. So let's start with the tools bar. And this is, like I said, this tutorial is very basic, very easy. It's just going to teach everybody about the very essentials, ah, essentials of what Photoshop is. So the toolbar is where all of our tools are located. And you can move it around, and it might be anywhere. But basically, you're looking for a bar that either is too wide or one wide and it has a, these icons on it. Oh, I forgot to mention, this tutorial works is specifically, I'm working on CS 5.5, however, any uh, specific, uh, sorry, any version of Photoshop will work almost in the exact same way, especially for this kind of purpose. So, this is your toolbar, and this is the most, I would say, one of the most important pieces of Photoshop, because this is where you get all your tools from, uh, obviously. And past these tools, there are even more tools if you right-click on them, and you get all your tools. So, this is the most important area. Uh, like I said, you can find it anywhere, um, but just look for this. I will, in the next video, I'll be going over what each of these tools does. Uh, these videos are going to be relatively short, no more than 10 minutes, and yeah, so let's, uh, the next part is the window bar, and, or I call it the window bar, because it has all these options that drop down, and you have file, where you can save, import, export, edit, which is transforming, uh, pasting, copying, image, layer, layer things, select is just selecting, these are most, these are obviously, apparently, uh, very self-explanatory, filter is probably not, it's like special effects, analysis, you won't use this that much, um, 3D, Photoshop is relatively limited when it comes to 3D, so you probably, you want to use like Blender or something if you're trying to work with 3D ponies, uh, view is just how you view things, the window is, um, are these things, over here, this is a window, adjustments is a window, masks is a window, and help obviously is help, but hopefully you are here for help and not up at this little bar because this doesn't help too much. Over here you have how you want to lay out your design, you have essentials, design, painting, and these are basically just custom ways that you can set up your workspace that you want to work. Um, for example, painting gives you brush presets and the swatches of color and the layers. Well, if I go into design, it gives me the character or text formatting uh, instead. So naturally, you will be in essentials first and foremost. And I would say that this is probably where you, depending on what you're doing in Photoshop, this is the most universal for uh, for every purpose. Uh, this is the options bar, and this is probably, I'd say, the second most important, because it's what customizes your tools. 
For example, this is where you find brush size, your type of brush. Uh, this is for the brush tool only. It's how you it customizes the tool that you're currently on. So opacity, um, flow, basically everything else. And I'll go further detail, go into further detail later about that. Um, up here you have your color window, and this uses RGB. And RGB is the default colors for a screen or monitor. And some people, may, a lot of people actually ask uh, why it is in the primary colors, and it's just how technology works as it publishes in red, green, and blue. You can achieve any color through that. I'll go more into color pa palettes and panels in a later video. Adjustments. This is just, again, if you're using essentials, uh, you won't really need this at first. And then layers is another important panel. That about sums up for this video. Um, like I said, I'm keeping these nice, short, and simple. Uh, if you already were advanced in Photoshop, you probably didn't find any help in this, uh, but we're going one step at a time. In the next video, I'll be talking about how to open up a new file and what each of the tools does. Uh, thanks, like, comment, uh, subscribe, and give me your feedback because uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Alright, see you guys later. Peace.